Are you still wasting your time on writing VBA code to create your Excel data entry forms? In this video, you will learn how to create without a single line of VBA code and also in five minutes, not only professional Excel data entry forms, but forms that have lookup forms to select the data from another Excel table. This is something similar to drop down combo boxes, but more advanced. And also master detail forms where you can select, for example, a category that is one Excel table and only see and work with products that belong to this category and that are in another Excel table. Oh yeah, you can also create multi-level menus. And all that in minutes, without a single line of VBA code. By using a small tool called Virtual Forms for Excel. Because we only have 5 minutes, we will go fast, but don't worry, at the end of this video you will get the links where you can find hours of video lessons with step-by-step -step instructions that you can watch and learn in your own time. Especially now in these tough times when every cent and every minute is so valuable. Are you ready? Let me introduce you to Davor Gatesy, the author of Virtual Forms with 20 years of database and programming experience. You will together create a few professional Excel data entry forms in five minutes, and all that without writing a single line of VBA code. Now we are here on my desktop. I have already installed the virtual forms on this machine, and I have got this folder created, virtual forms and the latest version. I will use the blank templates, I will use the Excel Excel blank template. I will copy this and I will paste it on my desktop. Here I have some sample data. Let's open this workbook. And as you can see, I have here a products worksheet and also a categories worksheet. There are three rules that we need to follow to be able to create a data entry forms. First rule, we need to have one table, one Excel table per Excel worksheet. The second rule is we need to have in each table a unique field or a column that we can call a primary key that is having a unique values for each row. And the third rule is we need to have at least one row of data in each table. Now let's close this sample data workbook and let's go into Excel Excel folder. Here we have two files. Let's open the Excel blank template. This is Excel workbook that is having only one Excel sheet. And now we can start the clock. Let's select the Excel file that we will use as a data source. Go to my desktop. Sample data orders, select OK. And now let's click on Open Virtual Forms main menu. Here we have a main menu, it is blank. Now let's click on the virtual form designer and let's create a new form. Click on the new form button and now here let's select the master table. I will select categories, double click and I also need to select the ID field for this table. The ID field is the category ID. Okay, now let's save, save changes. And we will also add these virtual forms to a tree view menu. Yes. Okay. And we will add the columns to the grid control process. And we will add fields to the edit control. Also click on the process. Okay. Let's exit this virtual form designer. And as you can see in the main menu, we now have categories. Let's double click it. And here we have our first virtual form created. Now let's exit and go again to the virtual form designer. And let's create a new form, master table. Now we will select the products and we will select the ID field in the products table. This is a product ID. Let's save it. Yes, let's also add this to the main menu and also add the columns to the grid control. 
process okay and add fields to the edit control process okay we can close the virtual form designer and now we have two forms categories and products let's start the products and here we have our products now what i want to do is to display two decimal points for the unit price here in edit control and also here in grid control right click on the unit price open text box in virtual form designer and say that we want two decimal points Let's do this also for the grid control, unit price, decimal places, two. Let's exit and let's reopen the products form. And as you can see, now we have two decimal points. What I want to do now is to be able to select the category ID or create a lookup form for the category ID. Let's right click on the category ID, open text box in virtual form designer. And here I will select the uh, field type, not a normal text box, but a lookup form. And I will also say to display yes to the button view and to the text box. Lookup form, it will be the categories, lookup table categories, lookup key field category ID and the lookup view field I will select the category name and we are done let's exit this and reopen the products form and now we have a lookup field for the category id i can choose another category for example this category number four and let's save it and what i want to do now is to open the categories and now I want to create a master detail form. So when I click on the category, so that it will show me the products that are in this category. Let's exit this and let's go to the virtual form designer, expand these categories and let's click on the relationships. Right click, add new relationship and choose the details table. Let's choose the products, the detail master ID will be the category ID and the details ID field name it will be the product ID save this yes and add columns to the grid and also to the edit control process now let's close the virtual form designer and let's open the categories form now I can click on the category and here down under we have the products. The category ID is having these two products. Let's go back, click on the, for example, car engine parts category. Let's click on the details. And these two products are in the car engine parts category. Now let's stop the watch and see if we did it. This is how easy it is to create an Excel data entry forms with lookup forms and also master detail relation. And we have created these forms without a single line of VBA code. I know this is a little too much of information. I have gone a very quickly with the creation of these forms. But if you want to learn more, if you want to go step by step, you can take a look at my uh, YouTube channel for virtual forms. There are plenty of videos. Or also, if you want to go uh, with a course, with a video lessons, then there are uh, courses on the virtual forms homepage. There are hours and hours of video lessons that you can watch at your own pace whenever you want it and learn how to create your Excel data entry forms without a single line of code. And also, virtual forms can be used in a connection with a MySQL database, where you can use MySQL database as a data source and where you can store your data and connect it to the Excel. Not only MySQL, you can also use Microsoft SQL Server as a database. If you want to learn more, go to the virtuals-forms.com and there you can also download the virtual forms 
and also find a link to the YouTube channel where you can find a lots of more videos about virtual forms, about Excel and also how to connect, for example, Excel in MySQL or Excel in Microsoft SQL Server. This is it for this video. My name is Daur Getzi. I'm the author and the creator of virtual forms. Have a nice day and finally monetize your knowledge of Excel. Go to the virtual-forms.com and find out what you can also do with virtual forms. Cheers.